All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new tutorial. And this is the tutorial that everybody has been asking for for the last couple of years. You guys have specifically asked me to make a video on how to transfer your own music from a PC to an iPhone. And that's what this video is going to detail. And we're going to be using a program called Plex, which is super easy to set up. I'm going to show you guys how to do it in just a few minutes. And what's great about this is if you want to stream the music from your PC to your iPhone, it's not going to cost you a dime. Now, if you actually want to download the music to your iPhone, that will cost $5. And what I'm going to recommend is that you have all of your music ready to go because this program called Plex that I'm going to have you install, there's a monthly subscription called a Plex Pass that you'll need if you want to actually download stuff directly to your phone without having to plug it in to a computer. And so I'm going to recommend you have all of your music ready to go before you do this so you only have to pay for that pass for one month. After that, once the music is on your phone, you're ready to go. Even if you don't have a subscription to the Plex Pass anymore, you're going to be good to go. And what's great about this is when you install this program and you have it up and running on your PC, if you have any streaming devices in your house, you're going to be able to stream any of that stuff, any of that music, and also if you have movies, photos, and everything else, also to these other streaming devices through the Plex app, which is, comp you know, the Plex app itself is completely free. And I'm going to show you how to set it up. Now, there's one point during the video where you do the setup and you set up a username and a password, and that's where it's going to ask you to pay for the Plex Pass. It's not going to show that in my video because I already have a subscription. I, I did it in preparation of getting ready for the video, and I already paid for it. So you're not going to get to see that part of it, but everything else should be the same. So when you go in to set it up the way I show you, there's going to be one extra step where it's going to talk about the Plex Pass where you can pay for it $5 a month. $39.99 for the entire year, or you can get a, a, a lifetime pass for only $120. So what I recommend is if you already know you have your music ready to go and you're not going to be adding in the future, just pay the $5 for one month, get everything downloaded to your phone, and then you're good to go. You can always cancel the Plex, Plex Pass, or you can get it again in the future. If you need to sync again, just spend $5 for the next month. And that's how easy it's going to be. But let's get into the tutorial. Now, right before I get into the tutorial, I need to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Aura. And it's actually a critical time to be talking about Aura because hackers, if you guys didn't know, hackers stole over 75% of everyone's social security numbers if you're an American. Over 2.9 billion records were stolen from the national public data, which offers personal information to employers, private investigators, staffing agencies, and others who are doing background checks. These stolen records include a person's full name, address, date of birth, phone numbers, and most importantly, their social security number. And members of the hacker group have reportedly released this information for free online. If you weren't taking precautions with your personal information online before, this would be a huge wake-up call, or should be a huge wake-up call. You've never been more vulnerable online than you are right now. But I'm not too worried about it myself, because I already use Aura. Aura monitors your personal data, including your social security number, across billions of data points, like the dark web, the public court records, to detect and alert you to potential identity theft. They give you up to $5 million in identity theft insurance, should the worst case scenario happen. They also provide a bunch of other features to keep you safe online, all inside one app. You can go to my link today, aura.com forward slash my review to try a 14 day free trial. That will be enough time for Aura to find out if any of your personal data is exposed. I highly recommend you do this now because not only is national public data not going to do anything to help you, they probably aren't even going to face any repercussions for this leak. I'm not leaving myself and my family vulnerable to data breaches. And if you don't want to either, you can go to Aura.com forward slash my review to try two weeks for free. All right, guys. And with that said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys. So we're going to jump right into the tutorial here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google and type in Plex Media and... When you get into the search results, the first uh, thing you want to log into here is where it says Media Server Downloads. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And when this page pops up uh, for your downloads, you want to scroll down to where you see Windows Plex Media Server for Windows. 
and where it says choose distribution, uh, you're going to click that. And for whatever system you're using, 32-bit or 64-bit, uh, you're going to download it for that version. Now, mine is a 64-bit version, and I've already downloaded it. It's about a 100-megabyte file, and I have it sitting on my desktop for me to install so I can save that bit of time here on the video. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Internet here. And here is the install file here in the lower left. Yours will be in your downloads folder, but I wanted to make this tutorial as quick as possible for everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click the install here. And I'm going to click, yes, I do want to allow this app to make changes to my device. And here it's going to kind of show you where it's going to install it and what it's going to install. So it's going to install your programs, Plex, media server folder. And you can name it whatever you want to name it, but I'm just going to leave it as Plex media server. And I'm going to hit next and install. We're just going to let it go through the installation. It should be pretty fast. It shouldn't take too long at all to install it. Now I am going to do something a little weird here at the end, and it's to get it to function properly because I already have an account, and I'm going to log in with an existing account here. So you see where it says Launch Plex Media Server? I'm going to go ahead and click Finish and leave that checked. But when it pops up, I'm immediately going to log I'm going to close it because it's not going to display properly since I already have an account. So when this pops up, I'm just going to go ahead and close all of this. So I want to sign. Well, first, I'm going to sign in with my account here. If this is your first time doing this, it's going to ask you to set up an account using your email, your Gmail, or whatever. I already set up an account, and that's what this is. So I'm going to sign in with this account. And what I'm going to do now that I'm signed in, I'm going to completely exit out of this. And now what's going to happen is Plex is going to be kind of running in the background. So over here in the lower right of your screen, you have this, this up arrow that shows all the stuff that's running. And so when I click this, you can see that Plex, that Plex app, that's the icon. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to hit open Plex at the top. This is actually what I want to do. This is going to bring me to a different screen, the screen that I actually want to get to. And this is what it's going to look like when you first install it. It's going to say Plex Media Server runs on the computer where you keep your media. Plex scans your media, automatically organizes it, and makes it beautiful. Play your media on any screen with your favorite Plex app. So if you have a Roku, you can download the Plex app. If you have a Google Chromecast, you can download the Plex app. If you have a Fire Stick, you can download the Plex app. And if you have any streaming TVs that have all those apps built in, one of the apps will be Plex that you can get. And all you have to do is sign in with the same credentials that you're signing in with this Plex media server. Now, the computer that you're going to be running Plex on, it is ideal to have it on all the time so you can stream your media from that computer to these other devices. If it's not on, then the other devices won't pick up the media. But the primary reason we're doing this is so that we can download music to our iPhone. So we're going to get to this point here where we're going to set up our media. So I'm going to go ahead and click Got It down here at the bottom of the screen. And it's going to tell me the name of my computer. And I do want to allow access of my media outside my house so that if I want to stream it from this computer, I can do it from outside the house. But I'm actually going to show you how to download the music directly to your phone as well. So I'm going to click Next. And I don't have any libraries yet. And this is where you would add your library. So I'm going to hit Add Library. And it gives you options. Movie, TV shows, music, photos, other videos. What's cool about this is I'm going to show you how to do your music, but you can come back and do this with all of your photos as well, any TV shows that you might have, and any movies. You can come back in and add a library anytime you want. So I'm going to do music, and I'm going to name it music. This is where you give it the name, and I'm going to hit next. I'm going to browse for media folder, and I'm going to gear it towards my desktop where I had that music app or the, the music folder that had my Def Leppard music in it. So once I've selected, I'm going to click Add. And now it's part of my library. So I'm going to hit Add Library. 
and I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to hit done. It's that simple. Now on the left hand side of your screen, you're going to have an icon down at the bottom that says music. These are all the top ones like the watch list, the live TV, the movies and shows, rentals, discover, music. Those are all those are all apps that came with with Plex. But this one is the music that I have added. And so I can unpin any of these that I'm not using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpin all of the ones that I'm not using from them. So the only thing I'm seeing is my music. There we go. And so there's my music. There's a Def Leppard album. And if I click this, it'll go in and it'll show you all the songs that are available for you to play. So it gives you the album cover art. You don't have to go look for it. It's automatically there. It's automatically organized. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now, now that this is set up, I'm going to go back over to my phone to show you how that works. So if I go to the App Store here, you can actually go in and you can search for Plex. And so here it is, Plex, Watch Live TV, and... And you can see I've already got it installed. But this is where you would download it. And you can see it has 120,000 five-star reviews. Like this is an amazing app for you to organize your media. And so I'm going to go ahead and click open. And I'm going to uh, not enable notifications right now. And you can see as soon as I go in there, you can see that my Def Leppard album is in there uh, because I'm logged in with my account. But what I want to do is I want to go over to the left. And you can see here that I've got all of those same widgets or icons that were on the PC. But what I'm going to do is I want to go over to where it says music, or not music on title. I want to go to, whoops, let's open that back up. I want to go to my music. And there it is. There's my Def Leppard album. Now, when I click this, it's going to give me the option to download it. Now, when you actually go to install Plex, one of the options, and it didn't do it for me because I've already got a Plex Pass, is it's going to ask you, do you want to get a Plex Pass? Now, here's what's important. If you just want to stream from your device that's going to be on all the time and you don't want to download it directly to your phone, you don't need a Plex Pass. If you want to actually download the music to your phone, you are going to need a Plex Pass. And like I said at the beginning of my video, I was unaware of that when I was setting this up. It didn't show it in my install because, like I said, I've already got a Plex Pass and I've paid for it. And so you will have that option when you're installing it. So if you're going to want to download the music to your phone, you're going to have to pay for it. There are basically three options. You could do it for $5 a month, which I do. You could do it $40 for an entire year, or you do $120 for a lifetime pass. I think I'm going to be paying for a lifetime pass here this next month because I've been paying $5 a month for probably the last three or four years, and that's way more than what a lifetime pass would be. It's still cheaper than Apple Music is. And so once you paid for it and you're using it, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So if I hit, if I go into my phone and I hit download, it is going to download it to this phone. So if I go back here and I hit the sidebar and I hit downloading, downloads. All right, so when I go in here, it's going to show it downloading the Def Leppard album, and it's downloading it kind of slow. I noticed earlier today there's been something really wonky with the internet uh, where I exited out of this and it downloaded it in about 30 seconds. Here you can see it's about 4% done, so it's going to take a few minutes, but not forever. But I do have another album that's already downloaded on here, and you can see this is from my other Plex account. But even though I downloaded it, it's still going to show it in here and it's playable. It's this Kylie Minogue Light Years album. And this is what it's going to look like when you're done downloading it. It's going to show you the album cover art and it's going to show all the songs. So you'll be able to play it off of your phone without needing to stream from your home computer. So this is if you want to download it directly to your device. And so you can see it's, it's taking a little bit of time. But I can always go in and I can still stream it as well. So you've got options here. But you can... If you want the music directly on your phone, this is how I would do it. I would put it in the downloads, and then you bypass the Apple Music app entirely, and you have access to your entire library, which is pretty cool. And you don't need to plug in your phone into the PC or anything. It's all done wirelessly, which is pretty dang cool. So I'm just going to let it finish, 
And that's how this works. So you can envision when it's done. If I go back to my downloads, it's going to look just like the Kylie Minogue. It'll show the album art there. You'll be able to go in it and select everything. So this is how you download music directly to your phone.